guys, it's your bro CDP. I am live at the uh, Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. The London Lightning just won their fifth NBL championship, 97 to 96 over the Kitchener Waterloo Titans. And I have John, who is the uh, online voice of the London Lightning. John, thoughts of this season and this uh, series against the Kitchener Waterloo Titans? Unbeaten in the regular season, they win a perfect 12 and 0. They sweep Windsor, they sweep KW, they finish uh, the regular season at Budweiser Gardens a perfect 16 and 0. Uh, what a great way to cap off the year, unfortunately for the KW Titans. You know, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose these things. Uh, you know, their first time in their five year history of making it to the finals, I got a feeling that it's not going to be the last. They're going to be back here real soon. Whereas for the London Lightning, let's face it, I mean, they're the creme de la creme. That's the fifth championship in the 10 year league of this history. Uh, and there wasn't even 10 championships handed out, as you know, because of the COVID stricken season. So, uh, domination yet again by London. Uh, I think it's win or go home at this point for those guys. I was going to say, and uh, what a tremendous way to end the uh, 2022 NBL uh, season after the, the pandemic uh, shut it down for two years. So this is this was a great experience, and uh, hats off to the Tennessee, uh, sorry, the Kitchener Waterloo Titans and Neil Foreman, yeah. and uh, a lot of credit to the London Lightning and Doug Plum. Great ownership, great coaching, great players, and they they really earned work for this championship. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. It starts with ownership. Vito Frisia does an incredible job of you know putting all the pieces in, in place to make this all possible. Uh, Mark Frisia does a great job managing the team. Doug Blum, coach of the year for a reason. And then all the incredible players that this team has, six man of the year and Terry Thomas, who just picked up the finals MVP. I think about all the fans down in London, Ontario, and the fans that made the trip down to the auditorium. I was hearing defense chants. When the Titans are on the court, I was hearing go Lightning, go chance in the fourth quarter there. Uh, you know, Lightning only win this game by a possession, and I think it really came down to the, not the sixth man and Terry Thomas are on the court, but the sixth man in the crowd and the fans that came down. What, do you think this team will be intact for next year? Ooh, that's a good question because uh, we're, we're in a league where there is a lot of turnover and there's a lot of you know new faces from season to season. I'd like to see the core back for sure. I don't think any Lightning fan would argue with me on that one, but uh, I think that's the reality of this league that you will see a turnover and you might see some faces go. I know, you know even from the COVID-stricken season, some fan favorites uh, fell off the table and went to other places like Japan and overseas. So uh, I do expect us to unfortunately maybe lose a face or two, but that just means uh, you know there's an opportunity for somebody out there to come and win a championship for London. All right, well, John, thank you so much for coming on. Congratulations on another championship, and we'll look forward to seeing you in November for the 2020 uh, to 2023 season. Again, Craig, thanks for coming on live with CDP. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. Really